wide volume and expensive method development. In this session, we will learn what is wide volume, how is it calculated, what is an unretained peak, how an unretained peak is related to wide volume, what is the role of unretained peak in HPLC method development. Namaste and welcome to Pharma Knowledge Forum. I am Dr. Pramod and I provide a skill-based lecture on pharma analytical research and quality control such as analytical method development, analytical method validation, input control strategy, chiral separation, genotoxicity, GLP, troubleshooting, etc. If you are new on this channel, please subscribe the channel and like the video. Wide volume. The volume of solvent in liquid chromatographic column is called wide volume. It is denoted by V. These are the HPLC column. Each HPLC column is filled with the stationary phase like these. The shape of the stationary phase may be a spherical or any other shape. In between the stationary phase, there is empty space. These are the empty space. These spaces are also called wide space. These empty spaces are occupied by the solvent. The total empty space is called wide volume of any HPLC or liquid chromatography column. Now, question is how wide volume is calculated? I am going to discuss in the next slide. Wide volume is calculated by the formula V is equal to pi d square L F by 4, where d is equal to diameter of the HPLC column, L is equal to length of the HPLC column, F is equal to pore volume. Its value is 0 0.70 for fully porous packing column and 0 0.50 for superficially porous packing column pi is well known case study let us consider a column which length is 150 mm and diameter is 2.1 mm and its pore volume is 0 0.70 now what will be its wide volume Using the above formula, as we discussed, V is equal to pi d square L into F by 4. Wide volume will be uh, 0 0.37 ml per minute, where 3.1459 is the value of pi, 2.1 is the diameter of the HPLC column, 150 is the length of the column. Uh, this is the pore volume. Now, wide volume is 0 0.37 after calculation using this formula. Now, you can easily calculate wide volume of the any HPLC column in HPLC analysis or during method development. Now, question is, what is the unwritten Peak and how it is related to wide volume. I am going to discuss in the next slide. Wide time or unretained peak. The peak due to wide volume is called unretained peak or wide volume peak. Theoretically, it is said that wide volume solvent having also its own peak in the chromatographic condition. And the peak due to wide volume is called wide volume peak. It is denoted by T0, 
and it is calculated by the formula T0 is equal to V divided by flow rate of the mobile phase. In any chromatographic condition, flow rate is known, column dimension is known, porosity of the column is known, and hence V can be calculated, that is, wide volume can be calculated, and consequently, T0, that is, time of unretained peak, can also be calculated. Let us Consider we have to calculate T0 of the column which dimension is 150 into 2.1 mm. Flow rate of the mobile phase is 0.2 ml. Then T0 will be 0.37 as we have already calculated wide volume in the previous slide divided by 0.20 that is 1.85 minute. Now you can easily calculate retention time of unretained peak in any HPLC method development. We can also be calculated by injecting unretained compounds like uracil or potassium or diode or any other unretained compounds. These compounds like uracil, potassium iodide are not interacting with the stationary phase in the reverse phase chromatography mode. That is the reason these compounds are used to calculate retention time of the unretained peak or wide volume peak. It is calculated by the formula V is equal to T0 into flow rate of the mobile phase. Let us consider we have to calculate wide volume where T0 have been given and flow rate has been given in any column let us consider dimension of the column is 150 into 2.1 mm then wide volume will be 1.8 into 0 0.50 that is 0 0.90 ml now you can calculate wide volume using this formula also in any HPLC method development for any column. Importance of T0 in HPLC analysis. It is very helpful in HPLC method development. In any HPLC method, peak of interest must be separated with the wide volume peak. Higher the separation between peak of interest and wide volume better is the method in this chromatogram each peak t1 and t2 is well separated with the wide volume peak t1 is well separated and similarly t2 is the well separated this is all about this session if you have any question related to this session write in the comment section and i will answer within 24 hours thank you let us see you in the next session